All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. It's been a little while since I've uploaded. Uh, just a lot of things going on between working on the Jeep, uh, messing with the truck, lots of builds coming in and out of the shop. Um, I'm going to throw a video together probably a couple days after this one's uploaded, and it'll be just little tidbit clips of things that we've done. Uh, we've done 218s, we've done 210s, 310s, 210s, 212s. So we've had all kinds of little things coming in and out. And I've got little video bits and clips of it, but I'll throw all that together in the next video so you guys can see that. Uh, as you guys can see, the Jeep here is tore apart. I'm pretty much at my wit's end with this thing. Uh, it's pr probably going to have to go to somebody else. I ended up having to change the oil cooler gaskets. I uh, got the oil cooler's gaskets changed. It fired up, ran fine. I don't know, 45 minutes or so, took it up the road, threw a code for Tobro Underboost, uh, which is usually a fuel issue. I uh, brought it back. And now it'll just, it won't start. So uh, we've ran a scanner on it. We ran uh, all kinds of shit, uh, but it's just, it's not starting. So I've gone back, checked over everything that I can think of. The only thing that's left is a high pressure fuel pump, in my opinion. And so that might be where we go from here. So I don't know, uh, right now, I'm working on Brandon's Denali. You can see we got a stack of stuff here. We got four ZVX 15s. In this box right here, we got two, or there's three right here. There's still one in the front seat. There's two cab 4500s. Um, been cleaning out here, working on figuring out what to do with power and grounds because the battery was up there before. Now it's got to be back here. Um, so I don't know what exactly I'm going to do for that. Um, but I gotta go to Lowe's here just as soon as the, the sprinkles let up and get some wood, get back and start figuring things out. I've gone ahead and designed the box, so putting it together should be, re oh shit, there's a mirror there. Should be relatively easy. But like I said, when I get back to Lowe's, I'll holler at you guys. All right guys, so it's the next day. Um, went to Lowe's last night, got the wood, and on the way home, or after coming here, we went home and here's a little clip of that. I said if I have enough battery, But we've got the Tahoe in here, or the Nolly, whatever the hell you want to call it. Got it in here tonight. Uh, we have to end up taking this panel out and disconnecting the actuator rod to be able to slide it in and out. But the shell is made. Um, I'll be doing some more work on it tomorrow, making it strong, brace it up. But the shell is made. It slides in and out. It fits. Um, the newer Tahoes and Denali's are a little bit more narrow at the top than the old ones because the old one... We could just slide it in and out. So I ended up having to make these 45s in the top two corners. But I'm going to go ahead and I'll probably end up fiberglassing the inside of those corners just to make sure everything's good and strong. I've got to go get some more adhesive tomorrow because I don't care if you cut perfectly straight lines. I always put that shit in there just because it's extra insurance. Um, I'm not afraid that my box is going to come apart, but you never have too much insurance. Um, on the power wire... All the power wire and the front to rear background is right there. I'm gonna end up using this SMD block and we're gonna tie those wires in there because it's mids and highs and amps or everything. I'll just give a power access there. And then I've got a hole back here that'll be underneath the amp section in the back. And I'm gonna run a ground down to the frame underneath here, somewhere on one of them bolts, clean it up. But we'll have that ground, and then we'll have a ground coming from front to back there, and then I'm going to run another one. So it'll be two powers, two grounds into the battery. Then we'll have both amps here. I'm um, not quite the layout of that yet, but everything is looking good as far as the box going in and out of the truck. Uh, like I said, tomorrow I'm going to start working on the inside of the box and strengthen it up, building port, baffle, this and that, blah, blah, blah. I'm just tired. The baby's tired, so we are going home. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to subscribe. Check you in the next one.